Hey, what's going on guys? Corey Smith here coming to you live through T3 Live here on YouTube. Just got done doing the uh, pre-week market analysis video that I've been doing every week now through T3 Live on their YouTube page here. Make sure you like and subscribe everything. Give a comment below if you got any recommendations or if you want to share your opinion either way. Appreciate you guys stopping by, taking the time to watch these. This edition here is going to be, I'm going to go over a quick little breakdown of the technical analysis I have for the prior week and the week ahead. See what we've got in store. Um, none of this is an indication to buy or sell anything. I'm simply just sharing my analysis uh, of what we can have an idea going into the week with. These markets are dynamic and constantly changing and uh, you don't want to anchor yourself to any one belief or the other. You constantly want to be on your toes as a trader, ready to change and uh, change your outlook and direction at any time. So that's what we want to do here, but I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of an insight on what I'm seeing on the charts and what I'm going to start the week at least looking at. As I've gone over before in my prior videos, the euro dollar, as with the euro index and the dollar index, has been in a rip higher as the dollar has been getting crushed, the euro has been killing it. Came up here and as I went over, we formed this triple top, head and shoulders on the smaller time frame chart up here on this strong resistance just under 121. And then we broke this trend line, broke the 20 and 50 SMAs, set a lower low, came back up to set a lower high, and we're now back up at this lower high. Uh, 20 is now crossed under the 50, we're at the 50 SMA, and we are forming what is now the right shoulder of this invert of this upright head and shoulders pattern. We had the left shoulder form here, we had the head form here, now we've got the right shoulder forming here, and what we're looking for is a break of this trend this neckline here um, could be looking for shorts as it makes its way down to the bottom of the neckline but the real confirmation is if it's able to break this neckline down here as you can see this is a strong level here and uh, a break to the downside would be a strong bearish confirmation for us that it will move lower so we'll wait to see if it can break this 117 level here and if it does then definitely looking for shorts in the euro dollar moving to the pound dollar. If you follow my CoreFX Instagram, you would have seen here, I had this retracement up here, Fibonacci retracement we had off this high, came up, hit the 50% Fib on the 20 SMA through this bearish engulfing pattern, and I called a bearish week here, and that's exactly what we did. Came down, just barely missed touching the lows um, of this new lower low that we set, but as you can see, price is now below the 50 SMA, 20 SMA is curving downward, sold off all week and um, it should continue lower to at least retest this trend line and lower low that it made here this coming week ahead. Taking us to the dollar CAD, as you can see here, we were in a downtrend, then we had this strong few weeks up, broke back above this strong support that was resistance and has been really consolidating in this tight range here, forming this pennant pattern. Um, price is just going to explode out one way or the other here, so we're going to wait to give it some direction as to where but it's above the SMAs now. 20 just crossed back up above the 50, and we're getting tightening price action in here, so we'll have to wait and see where this goes, but uh, I will be generally leaning a little bit more towards a bullish breakout, but we'll, again, have to stay on our toes and react once we see a confirmation. New Zealand dollar, again, this was the setup I was telling you guys about. Really, really beautiful, technically at least, and then the fundamentals just came in to support us. Um, we had this strong wick, this move lower with this lower low, and then we had this retest of the 382 fib right on the 20 SMA. We had this dragon, I mean this uh, tombstone doji here, and this doji as well right next to it. And what did price do? Rejected this area and sold off hard all week, coming down to set a new lower low. Hit a strong weekly trend line here, so we'll see. I'm expecting a little bit of a rally, maybe comes back up to retest this week at this uh, strong support term resistance now before possibly rolling back over. Taking us over to the Aussie dollar, we were in an uptrend with the Aussie dollar for a little while. Um, it violated the uptrend and sold off to make this lower low here. And then we came up to make a lower high and price has kind of consolidated this week around this lower high. Closed the week though on a bearish engulfing candle. So we'll see if price wants to continue this newly formed downtrend here and come back down to retest these lower lows at around the 77.50 here, this weekly support level. We'll see if price is able to do that. We've got this um, nice bounce here off this resistance, so we'll see what we're able to do and if a new lower low is able to be set after that. 
dollar yen I like this breakout we've been in this tight range here for a few weeks under this resistance and this daily trend line but we've now broken and closed above both and as you can see price is right under this 1350 level but we had a strong bullish breakout above here um, broke both these key levels so I'm expecting a move higher again anything can happen at any time so you always have to be on your toes but overall bullish sentiment here out of the dollar yen dollar Swiss uh, was range bound in this ugly range for a long time that I would cover how I didn't like this chart finally did come up and break out but we had this shooting star break out off the 200 SMA so wasn't too convinced with it did sell off for a few days and then was a little choppy rallied back up to test the high and is now right under this 200 SMA under this previous high and we've got con closing in higher lows being made as we got an ascending triangle coming up here so I'm expecting price to again break out of this high and move higher break this 200 SMA and potentially set new higher highs um, but again we'll have to wait and see what it does here and that takes us on to another pair I want to check out the euro yen as you can see here we were range bound for a couple weeks and it just broke out on Friday strong uptrend for a few six months or so uh, coming back up to test these really strong weekly resistance here this high um, under 3450 I'm really watching for a break of this level because a break of this level would be a pretty significant break as you can see it hasn't been up there since back in 2015 so it's been two years since it's been up there it's October 2015 so it's a two year level that we're underneath right now we'll see if price is able to get up and break it but we got a beautiful uptrend setting higher highs and higher lows that we've now formed this big bull flag bull rectangle pattern up here and we'll see if we can break out and break higher the next pair I wanted to look at was of course with all these New Zealand strong moves we've got some technical breakouts and as you can see here this pound New Zealand was in a nice basing pattern here as well broke out got a nice breakout if you drop it down a little smaller time frame I would like to see now that we hit this weekly support here I'd like to see a nice little retest back down around this level somewhere as before continuing higher and potentially setting a new higher high but I like this breakout it was in this tight range and you can see price shot out retested slightly and then exploded higher so it's a real nice technical setup there coming out of that New Zealand uh, news event and then that takes us also over to New Zealand CAD very strong level it broke here weekly support week uh, daily support weekly trend line you can see it came up tweezer top tier off this 50 SMA shot, shot off and broken closed below this strong support below this strong trend line now it's a very bearish sentiment for me as well as we are within a big jet downtrend since June also so I'll be looking for shorts with this pair and New Zealand Swiss franc we have essentially the same setup uh, this is a strong weekly support zone here weekly trend line here we've closed broken closed below the two again the New Zealand dollar is most likely a little exhausted from those huge moves last week but after a little bit of a rally a little bit of a strength return in New Zealand I'm expecting it to roll over and continue lower again alright guys so that covers some of the technicals I'm looking at this week keep a close eye on all this stuff uh, again, these these outlooks can change very quickly, but make sure you subscribe to T3 Live's channels here. Check out all their content. They got some great stuff here. One of the biggest names in trading. Uh, check out my Instagram as well, core.fx, and uh, stay up to date with these videos. Every week I'll upload them so you guys can stay up to date with everything going on in the markets for the week. Find all your news and analysis in one spot. Thank you guys. I appreciate taking the time. Subscribe, follow, and like, and I'll catch you next time.